What up? Picked up this 30 pound dumbbell 
for a quick arm pump. They have a great selection, affordable prices, and it's easy to use. Go check them out. Swipe up.
real. And the ability to drive and get to the rim is one of the reasons why Buddy Heal... Your personal guide to the world of country music. Sign up for YouTube Music Premium and get one free month. Kids doing a slug walk, and all the kids are doing it. 
Make pasta without cutting to an ad. Start a free trial of YouTube Premium and cook on it. Did you know you can go to LibertyMutual.com to customize your car insurance so you only pay for what you need? Really? I didn't... I didn't. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm on vibe. <laughs> only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. If you want switching between breast and bottle to go smoothly, our natural bottle feels like mom. Philips Avent Natural Bottle. Embrace every challenge, love every moment. Philips. Game of boys. It's not that hard to run an online business. No, before that. That I found some great stuff on their training battle place? No, before that. That I placed a few orders and they got them pretty fast? Yes, which website? Um, Alibaba.com. Discover new possibilities for your business with millions of trending products at March Expo on Alibaba.com. Thank you. 
chegar na minha, a cena me quer chegar na minha, mana, 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 quer me ganhar mana, mana, mas eu perco mais, mas eu perco muito nesse time now, mas eu perco nesse time now, it's time to roll up and smoke another round now. Open up all of that gold stash, you make me the order to sing. 
Knocking the door, we go dash, all cash. I want the money, get no cash. Pull up a bunny in the place. Took a sip up in the floor. If you don't want me to pay, open up all that door stash. You never know what it is. Why upgrade to YouTube Premium? It's ad-free, so you'll never have to stop your how-tos to skip an ad. It has background play, so whether you're working out to music or listening to a podcast, your sound won't stop playing if you lock your screen. And it has mobile downloads, so you can keep learning and getting better even when you don't have Wi-Fi or data. Upgrade to YouTube Premium. Try one month free and watch uninterrupted. I wasn't even get on these woods this early, cause it's real early in the morning. Your boy, and your boy had to get on these woods. Now I'm on the woods. That's where the celebration is. Uh, let's get started. Give me. points. We already in the fourth. Moving on to game six. It looks like the Trail Breeze has got game five well in the hand. What up second? Kingslayer, Bronto. I live in the neighborhood I work. <laughs> oh God. Oh, you don't know. Baskets and balls. Oh, you have no idea how that shit was when I heard that. Heard that. He said that shit like four times. I'm like, I'm like, what? Look, man, it's a real small hood, bro. It's a real small hood. This is was recognized by the other hoods nearby. All the rest of these hoods got consolidated into larger gangs, except for my three-block strip. All right? So when I tell you what I tell you, you got to understand, I know exactly what I'm talking about when I say we got a small hood. God damn. And also, this a dead-end street. It ain't really a dead-end street, but it's a dead-end street. Know what I'm talking about? You don't know what I'm talking about. No, some of y'all know what I'm talking about, though. And second, um, I actually was able to finally work on that second joint for your second chance. And man, man, man. We out here though, y'all. We out here. Damn. She taking a top off, she taking a top off. Only one bad bitch in the car getting dropped.
fucked up. Then she take off the top. Yeah. Then she take off the top. Yeah. Shake, 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 shake it like a tambourine. But I hope you take this dick better than you handle weed. Handle weed. Them cameras, please suck me with your hands and teeth, and I don't plan to leave. Baby girl, I plan to eat, and now I plan to be, plan to go deeper than my wings, and now I plan to leave till I slip up on that tangerine, and now I plan to leave till you jump up on this trampoline. I can't believe my eyes, how she's squeezing on your thighs. Got a nigga about to sneak, 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 and free my mind. Drinking wine with the candles lit, you got plans to cancel it. Pop champagne like we just got a championship. Only one bad bitch in the club. I wanna pop off. She taking the top off. She taking the top off. So only one bad bitch in the car getting dropped off. Cause she take off the top. Cause she take off the top. So only one bad bitch in the club. I wanna pop off. She taking the top off. She taking the top off. So only one bad bitch in the car getting dropped off. Cause she take off the top. Cause she take off the top. You should strip, 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 strip. You wanna. Be my bottom bitch to shake it off the top bitch Get right on top of this The top of this bottomless Show me what we riding with I got that automatic But shorty love driving Stick you like the strip You like the strip So hot right inside of bitch You like the sip You like the sip And try it with a side of dick I'm hard to miss Hard to miss And you know I brought a bitch A ass like that I'm shocked that it's not hard to sit It's soft the shit It's soft the shit Poke it out It's soft the shit You want it then I'm going Hit. I'm on it to the morning when you yawning, I'ma call it quits, yeah, that's all the zip, that's all the zip, but what we get is I can hear your body talk, so I'll show you what's the same. Only one bad bitch in the club, I wanna pop off, she taking the top off, she taking the top off, so only one bad bitch in the car getting dropped off, cause she take off the top, cause she take off the top, it's only one bad bitch in the club, I wanna pop off. She taking a top off, she taking a top so off. One bad bitch in the car getting dropped off. She take off the top, and she take off the top, 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 top. Yeah. Yo, Lou, I think we got another one. And that's freaking daddy is on the beat, huh? So we're gonna do it just like this. You should strip, 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 strip if you wanna make a grip.
You ain't got no brothers on the wall. She went from friend to family in an instant. A true connection. So rare. I cherish the memories we've made. And the memories we've yet to create. For moments like no other. Alright, you up? Ain't got no brothers on the wall. My next in line. Next in line? Got no pictures and no brothers take pictures. Don't you fall in line. Don't you sign with the wild egg. They were trying to sleep some time on the old baloney. And you can do my mind, all my money. Stop saying that shit. From me. Listen, man. Listen, man. That's one of them things that in the back of my head is going to always be funny. And now that you know it, obviously, there was only three people who, four people who knew about this. 
Now that you know it, this shit is about to take on a whole nother life of its own, man. Because my man's. I'm never going to forget the way he said that shit to me. He was like, I live in the neighborhood, I work. I'm like, alright, bro. Then how come we'll never see you around the neighborhood you work? Unless you at work. But I'm still waking up. Saying that shit all day. <laughs> hey man, I ain't gonna lie, I appreciate that shit. Oh man, I appreciate that shit. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. There've been plenty of times where you told me a story or something like that about um whether it pertained to a record or not. I'm like, man, I should have taped that. But you know I don't be off all that. Because this shit just be happening all organic. But, bruh, if we keep this shit up, man, we're going to have to take this shit. Because, like, off top, there's going to be more inside jokes off of these shits. Inside jokes and anecdotes that the rest of these people going to need to know the context for some of this shit. Yeah, especially like uh, that politicking record. Wait, what the hell was that? Masha dying? I don't even know what that was. I ain't even in a party. I made a mistake and left the party earlier. When I got on. Reset, re rested, put my whole shit on rest. I won't even try to. 40 seconds left, 30 points. Trubbreeze is looking like they're the dominant team here. Looking like they're on their way and hoping to take all this momentum into game six. Wait, I got an error. Okay, right. The butcher. He's the butcher. Where's the blade? I just realized that on Snap, all this wild shit I got up inside my motherfucking bio, I mean, that's my name, pop up whenever somebody send me a message. So whenever they look at what I'm sending them, they see all this long ass shit I got up here. And why wouldn't they? What this shit keep going on for? So yeah, I know that Fast Lane's on, and I guess the NWA pay per view's on. I ain't gonna lie, I don't think I'm remotely interested in either one of them shits. 30 points. And congratulations to Trailbreezers, eight. Clarkson. Is that Clarkson? Hell no, I don't know who the fuck that is. They don't never get this far down the depth chart.
Tell Terry the king says just stop being a fucking mark. Wait, what happened? Terry's gonna pull up to watch that. Then you got Peacock to watch. <laughs> Tell him it won't make a difference. Oh God. Oh God. That's funny, man. Yeah, the NWA pay review. I'm gonna be honest though, um, I know NWA didn't have much time to to promote this event, and um, I'm guessing the whole event, not just the main event, is in memory of the question mark. But now that it's over with, who else is on this card? That's that shit right there, you know. Yeah, all shit. That's that shit right there, yeah. Oh shit, yeah, yeah. That's that shit right there, yeah. Oh shit, yeah, yeah. That's that shit right there, yeah. Oh shit, yeah, yeah. That's that shit right there, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right there yeah. I know Nick Aldis is taking on Damian Sandow. You know that these bitches only jump because you bang, bro. You know that these niggas ain't gon' touch you, but they say so. And they won't ever change, so we stay high and aim low, hey, yo. Oh shit. Yo, what's that shit they got on? Uh, the Shinigami What's that I don't even know What that shit's called Death Note Alright Kratos Versus Tyrus Wait no King Sir No we're not talking About goddamn uh, um, Mortal Kombat Or whatever the fuck Game that is And shit Dream matches Jack's Dane Slice Boogie Who the fuck Is these guys I heard of Jordan Clearwater I know who Crimson is I know who Tyrus is too. Actually, no, I don't. I know who Tyus is. Yeah, I thought what's the name? His name was Tyus. Poe versus Tom Latimer, TV title match. My car got the ceiling going. <laughs> oh shit, big bass. Oh, that shit right there, big. Oh shit, big. I don't even know who Tom Latimer is. Oh shit, big bass. That's the shit 
shit right there, big. Oh shit, there it go. That's the shit right there, big. Oh shit. Is Yao out or something? Oh no, he right there. Trevor Murdoch versus Chris Adonis. That's um Chris Masters, right? I think I'm about to watch this whole show just to watch the Pope match. North American title. I think I knew they had that. Wait, hold on. So what the fuck championship do? Do Damian Sandow got? Thunder Rosa versus Camille. Was that for the women's title? Wait, no, that ain't for the women's title. That ain't women's title. So Camille won that. Listen to the music. Obviously, Camille won that. YouTube music program. Start a one month free trial. Yeah, I got my money on Camille for that. Looking like home court advantage matters a lot in this series. My whole thing is you wouldn't have a former champ fight for a no more contender to unless she losing. Y'all make sure y'all hit that survey up. The national champion, not North American. Okay, word. This shit is so weird. Forgot they changed the name. Wait, hold on. So these are different belts? So what belt do Aaron Rex got? What the fuck? So they got a TV title, a North American championship, I mean a national championship, a world championship. What the fuck? Hold on, do they got a state? They feel like they got a city championship, a state championship, a region championship, um, a coastal championship, and a bi-coastal championship, the North American championship. Now, do they also have a Western Hemisphere Championship and an Eastern Hemisphere Championship before the World Championship? So, wait, wait, wait. How many of these non-world titles are there? I get the TV title, the national title. And what's the third degree? What's the third degree shit? What belt is the third degree belt? Now, let me stop smoking cigs. Put this hot chocolate to rest for a while. That was the national. Wait, wait, so now Aaron Rex doesn't have it no more? Oh, 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 Stevens. Wait, what? Okay, so Trevor, so he won the belt off of Aaron Rex. All right, I'm caught up now. But I'm over here like, they got a national championship and a North American championship? I mean, I guess that makes sense, because Nation ain't in all of North America. Nation just one third. Damn, that's a big push off from Tim Hardaway. What the fuck is up with this shit going off? I don't have no places for real. I just been chasing the bills. Girl, at first my heart was cold. Then my heart made out of steel. The wound in the field. And I tell them feel what I feel. Feel like that boy is amazing. Sweated on skill. All of them beats I done killed. Murder and text on them. Buried them back in the field. They got all you. You get popped by the hill. Bring that free like that agent for shield. On the weekend, just catch me on the hills. Just because my level high is a hill. My second last name is Hill. I break that glass like O'Neal. My first so sick like I'm ill. But electric like an eel. My nigga spent like a wheel. Like do what I will until you screw like a drill, run like a drill, then like a scabby get peeled, never gon' heal, your raps are plainer than water, my boy, I be talking to steel, told her to yield, she said that she wants to pick up a pretty so she know the deal, make the earth till, my flow be smoother than sealed, your feelings get hurt, get some milk, man, this what I build, body rockin', body build, body rockin' like your thing, I'm 
like a machine. I got the drum like a king. The trick you be rapping the top of it sings. I laugh off around like a lord of the rings. It don't need a beam. Where to my mama, I don't need no llama, but I'ma be, I'ma be left like I peas. My flow is the ocean that go overseas. Hurricanes form every time that I sneeze. The youth with the breeze. Man, I say friend like the breeze. Say it ain't up like a G. Times it by three. Y'all should know I'm finna tea. Y'all stick to white like a T. Chip on that T. Man, I know y'all gonna hate this, but shots going off. I ain't talking about Vegas. I'm done with the plan. You know what I'm saying. Wrapped on the track like I just bought a train and I'm hitting their base like I'm going to vacation. Taking y'all spots because I'm with replacing. I swear that these rappers don't know what they facing. I take you to school and get that education. I put on that mask like I'm Jason. This is my generation. I swear this is my for the second. I'm done.
YouTube Premium removes interruptions from your video recipe. Start a free trial now. Magnificent shit. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Battle of the Hardaways, Penny and Timmy. I ain't gonna stunt, man. I always dreamed about that. Obviously, back in the day, um, we couldn't get that to happen on live because Penny played for Orlando and Timmy played for Miami. So they both, you know, we was lucky we had a Hardaway backcourt. But I ain't gonna stop, man. Penny was the man back in the day, bro. Penny was the man. Like, like, after, like, things is different. Like, like, shit seems like now, now, everybody's team has two guys. But back then, everybody's team didn't even have a guy. And Shaq and Penny was the shit. Shit, good look on the heads up. Yeah, all I was saying was that all the shoes I got in the game on my guy are all the shoes I couldn't afford back in the day. That used to be tripping on my mom's about picking me up. Especially them Barclays. Yeah, there's a lot of shit back in the day though. Barclays. Um, but what I was saying though is that like on most two men like 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 tandem right you know Pippen and Jordan was one at the time this was before Rodman came along Pippen and Jordan was one Zoe and uh, Hardaway was one um, there was a couple of them man but before all the little baby Jordans you know and I don't, I don't think that's what started this whole everybody's got a got a player is the baby Jordans it was Stackhouse uh, J.R. Ryder um, Harold Miner um, Grant Hill none of these guys wound up being anywhere near Jordan none of them. And the funniest part is that that's what people called all these guys before they came to the league. He could be the next Michael Jordan. They was like hamming these niggas up. They was not saying that about Kobe. I promise you they was not saying that about Kobe. Kobe went out there and worked for all that shit. All of it. I watched him do it. I ain't gonna stop, man. R.I.P. to Kobe. But the truth is, the good die young, and I'm not sure how Kobe lasted this long. Because he great. Yep. Now, honestly, the only player I think from Kobe's era that is as great as Kobe Bryant is playing on the floor right now for the, for the Trailblazers. Especially for the era that they played in. Unparalleled. Unparalleled. I believe both of them got five rings in that same amount of time. It was literally the Lakers or the Spurs every year in the finals. Literally. For like ten years straight. This shit was fucking hilarious. The Kings never... Oh, God damn. Look at Rip. The Kings never broke through. They never broke through not even once. The Timberwolves didn't even break through not even once. Getting out the Western Conference Finals was like coming out of a coma. I ain't gonna stunt, man. And I, I'm gonna be honest, man. Those, those, um... 
That year the Timberwolves went to the Western Conference Finals, the Timberwolves were fucking amazing. I mean, they were a championship team. They had KG, they had a role player at every fucking position. All of them were seasoned vets, knew what the fuck to do in that spot. Sam Cassell, Latrell Sprewell, even Troy Hudson. All right, a guy, you know how I always like to talk about the glue guys, the guys that don't get no, no fing fang foom. Troy Hudson was was the unsung hero of that team, and obviously we're forgetting uh Wally Zerbiak. You know all these niggas is necessary for what they do, man. You got to be able to do what you do at a high level to make it to the Western Conference Finals. You can't just be the the six man of the team. You got to be one of the most proficient six men in the league. And I mean, I believe that team had that. Same thing with those Kings teams. Um, the unsung hero on those teams was Bobby uh, Bobby Jones, the backup point guard. Both of them squads had the backup point guard. That was solid. The the thing about the Kings that made it even worse that they were losing like that to the Lakers. I don't really think the Spurs took the Kings out unless it was like, you know, not no conference final. The thing about the Kings that sucked was that they had like the best passing big man perhaps ever in Lottie Divac. They had Weber at power forward who was one of the most prolific scorers at the position. They had um, Peja at the three when Peja was Peja. They had Turka Glue on a bench and he could not grow to be the Turka Glue that was on Orlando Magic while Peja was being Peja. But he was still pretty much automatic for the three and that's all they wanted him to do. They just wanted him to do what, what Peja was doing when Peja was on the bench. Um, and they actually allowed Peja to do way more. Peja used to be able to drive to the cup and everything. Turk Blue never was able to do that when he was playing with the Kings. But when Turk Blue got with the Orlando Magic, man, he the reason them niggas went to the finals. Um, but beyond that, though, that Kings team also had uh, Doug Chrissy to play defense, especially on niggas like Kobe and, and uh, Vince and um, Iverson. Doug Christie was the guy who did it. Deed up the most prolific scorers in the league. Um, and obviously at point guard, Mike Bibby's dad coaches. I'm pretty sure his dad played in the league. Yeah, his dad played in the league. He's in here. We're trying to get them on the same team. And Bobby Jones came off the bench. But those two teams never could break through. Never, not once. And the Mavericks is probably the worst one. The Mavericks is the worst one. Honestly, because see, a lot of people, and this is what I will say, right? People think that the big three started in Boston. That is not true. The Dallas Mavericks was, was fielding a big three for years, years, and could not win shit for years, bro. The Mavericks had the guy you see d up Jimmy Butler right now, Michael Finley, who was one of the most prolific scorers in the league. All right, when he was with Dallas. I'm pretty sure that's Finley right there. Yeah, that's Finley. He was one of the most prolific scorers in the league, bruh. In the league. Um, and he was the, he's the least known of the, the big three. All right. Now, obviously, I'm going to be honest, man. At the time these three players were playing together, oh, God, Hakeem with a big block. At the time that Finley was playing in his big three in Dallas, most people looked at all three of those guys like they were just as good as each other. Now, since then, the other two guys have become league MVPs, I'm pretty sure. One of them being Steve Nash, one of the best point guards of all time. And the other one being Dirk Nowinski, one of the best big men of all time. And those teams that the Mavericks had had guys had had all types of pieces. If we want to go through the years, they always had a piece. They had um oh man, what was the guy's name, man? It was like it was like before he got there, they really was pussy. But once he got there, oh man, it was a black dude, Joe. He was like a three. He was a small forward. Oh man, he was like the hood guy on a squad. Now prior to him getting there, they wasn't that kind of team. But uh, but they had Nick Van Axel coming up off the bench. Yep, coming up off the bench. Um, I can't even remember all the guys. They had Sean Bradley starting at seven seven. Now don't get me wrong, Shaq used to abuse the fuck out of Sean Bradley. But but that's that's just one team. It's the rest of the teams you got worried that they should be worried about. 
But that's what shit was like in the early 2000s. Yeah, my cousin was a big Kings fan. He hated Kobe and Lakers. And he gonna be right in on my boobs. Wait, what? My cousin still got his Dibby jersey. That's fucked up. Yeah, but you see, the problem with the, um... I, I'll be honest about it. The Kings' problem is that they just couldn't get past the Lakers. That's their only problem. If the Kings would have got past the Lakers... I don't know if that was like a mental thing or what. It was a mental thing, bruh. It was a mental thing. I like, I watched all of them games. I watched the game. Like, I was, like the shit that Robert Ori, they always show that shit in the, in the highlights and shit. I watched that game, bruh. When I think Lottie Divock, like, I remember that shit like it was yesterday. Lottie, they, I can't remember who shot it. The ball bounced off of the rim. Lottie Divock popped that shit back to the three point line to fuck everybody up. And then Robert Ori just stepped up. Now, now the thing about it is, I watched them Rocket series that the Rockets won them two back to back. Also, I watched every fucking NBA Finals from the the second one Jordan won on. All right, until like two years ago. All right, even if my squad wasn't in, I knew Robert Ori could knock down that three. It didn't matter where he was at. It's like, like before he, like when we got him in LA, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm glad we got Hori. Yep, I'm glad we got Hori. He was like a real hater, and I couldn't understand. I was just a little ass kid. Well, 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 I'm gonna be honest with you, bruh. We abused the Kings. Like, 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 we demoralized them. And, and the truth is, um, um, we demoralized them on the court. Like, like, don't get me wrong, man. This was a quality team, bro. Like, this, this is not like, this was not like, like. For example, I think that if the Kings were in the league right now, they would be the best team in the league right now. Now, do I say that they have the best three individual players in the league? No. Do I think that those guys playing together, the style of ball they played, would win today? Yes. And I think they would win a lot. I'm not saying that people would be saying L.A. who, LeBron who. I'm not saying all that. But the Kings was a solid squad, bro. I mean, ball movement, basketball IQ, shot selection, patience on offense, defense. They had every fucking thing, bro. They just couldn't get past the Lakers. Now, the Mavericks, on the other hand, was a different story. The Mavericks sucked. It didn't matter how good they were during the regular season. Niggas knew they wasn't going to do nothing in the playoffs. That's why that year that the Warriors beat them and the Warriors was the eighth seed and it was the first time an eighth seed ever upset the number one seed in the playoffs in the first round. Man, niggas was not surprised. Niggas was not surprised. I was like, yeah, well, you know. But I could tell you it was a lot of things, man. Dirk wasn't as aggressive um, earlier, earlier in his career. Um, their coach Don Nelson. It's like it's like when they did win. I know they won with Rick Carlisle. I remember watching when Rick Carlisle was coaching those Indiana teams. I think the dude's name was Josh Howard that played for the Mavericks. But when Rick Carlisle coached those Indiana teams, he was coaching guys like Jermaine O'Neal. I'm pretty sure Ron Artest. Um, he coached Indiana when Indiana was Indiana. So by the time he got to Dallas, I knew he was going to win with him because because Rick Carlisle a good coach. I'm pretty sure he was coach. Yeah, he coached Indiana. Um, Rick Carlisle was a good coach, so I knew he was going to be able to get out of the Mavericks and get out of Dirk what what they needed. But uh, Don Nelson, man, I'm pretty sure. Look, this is how far we going back, bro. Let me tell you how far we going back, bro. My I. I think, I'm pretty sure it was my pops who told me. It was either my pops or my uncle. I think it was my pops who told me this, though. It could have been my uncle, though. But they told me that Don Nelson can't win championships, and he'll never win a championship. And I'm like, uh, are you sure? Because he got a lot of niggas out there. They're like, nah, he ain't gonna never win a championship. And I'm like, alright. So I just paid attention. And I don't think he never won a championship. And the funny part is, I used to, hold on, who did Don Nelson used to coach? I think Don Nelson might have coached the Bucks before that. I can't remember who he, he coached the Sonics, maybe? Was it the Bulls Sonics? 
They're showing Kim Sonics. But I don't think Don Nelson's won a championship yet. And I ain't gonna stunt, man. It, this might have been my uncle who told me this because I'm pretty sure my uncle's the one who's also who also called Tracy McGrady Crazy McGrady. <laughs> my uncle be on some shit, man. He be on some shit. He also he also won't like look right, look right. Because all my boys was Iverson guys, and they were just like you know we like parody in the league. We like all these niggas. And I was clearly the Kobe guy. And my uncle made a point to let me know one time. He was trying to be petty. He was like, yeah, you know Kobe got that lazy eye, don't you? <laughs> and I'm like, no, he doesn't. He was like, look again. <laughs> I could never unsee it after that. It's like I knew he had it before then. I knew he had a little bit. It's like because my, 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 my perception of this is like, ah, ah, it's a little lazy, a little, a little lazy, man. Maybe, but not enough for you to be making fun of it, nigga. Yeah, but I ain't gonna never forget that shit. My uncle gonna said a lot of few things about sports, man. I ain't gonna stunt, man. He's a big reason why I am in the sports. Them about the only flowers I am about to give you, Uncle Uncle Frank. Shout out to you. Yep, he a big reason why I'm in the sports like this. It just couldn't keep up with the other one. I know it. That <laughs> shit was fucked up. He used to always gun him for that. But obviously, once McGrady rose to prominence, um, we ain't have to hear that about Kobe no more. Cause pretty much Kobe won like a whole nother championship. And McGrady's eyes look way crazy. But with all that being said, though, the um, the um, it's a couple of coaches like uh. I don't think PJ Carlissimo ever won anything. That's the coach that um, that's the coach that Sprewell had choked out. But after he got choked out by Sprewell, I'm pretty sure he wound up coaching like like the Suns or some shit. Um, niggas knew Dan Tony wasn't gonna never win no championship. I don't know if he's won one yet. The funny thing about it is like a lot of these niggas, it's not the some of them is the way they coach, like like the way they deal with people. Some of them it's like the game has just moved beyond you, bruh. You just don't get it. Don't think he did. Yeah, I ain't gonna stop, man. Most of these guys that, um... Like, my uncle did that with coaches. I did it with players. I think my uncle told me Iverson wasn't going to never win a championship, and it was from that point that I just took the ball and ran with it, saying it. Like, rappers on Twitter. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think, um, there's a lot of niggas that didn't win no chip. And it's like, I'm not happy that these, like, I'm not happy that I'm right about Iverson not winning a championship ever. I'm not happy that I'm right about T-Mac or fucking Vince never winning a championship ever. Um, because them were some of the best players that played back in the day, man. I am, I, and, and I'm not mad at Ray Allen and KG for going to, uh, to Boston, even though they went through LA to get that championship. I'm not mad at them at all. I'm also not, like, I can't be mad at a player. Like, niggas be mad at, uh, I know it's players that are mad at Ray Allen because he left Boston and went to uh, Miami to go chase a chip. But I don't know how they mad when he only went to Boston to chase the chip. And the other thing is niggas feel the same way about Durant, and I don't get that. I don't get how you mad at a player for chasing a chip while they in their prom when, when the whole game is predicated on winning championships. And there's a salary cap. This ain't like baseball. Like, like, and, and I know the salaries is way insane right now. But in baseball, there's no salary cap. So, the team that plays in the largest market in the country has the highest price tickets in the country. Um, and has the highest priced roster in the country in baseball. That's the New York Yankees. All right. They're the most recognizable team in any sport anywhere in the world is that Yankees fitted. Thanks to Jay-Z. Yeah, they, they get that way. Wait, they always get that. Yeah, he was such and such, but he never won a championship. Yeah. Now, 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 the funny part about it is that the players that... 
that's doing shit like that, like LeBron and Durant, are the best two players in the league. Like, it's funny, like, because I say that because the league is going to follow what the best two players do. All right. Well, the best two players is playing for championships. But I'm not all for that stay, stay in one place, mostly because of what Durant just did. He went and got himself a ring. Durant only got one with Golden State, right? He played there for two years and got one ring. That's what happened. They lost the first year? I think that's how this happened. Durant lost the first year and then won the second. I'm not mad at Durant for, for, for pushing that shit. Because the first thing the niggas say to Charles Barkley, niggas on Utah Jazz say, say they like playing for the experience. Yeah, but I think I seen something that Utah is like kicking up right now. And niggas can't understand why. Yeah, plus if you playing like we gotta be honest, man, these niggas I'm assuming that Utah ain't ain't in the top five of the West. So they, I don't know man. Yeah, but they still ain't projected to win anything. That's another squad that was great back in the day. Great. Your man Hornacek. I ain't gonna lie to you. Hornacek was G's favorite player, bro. That's real weird, ain't it? That was his favorite player. I mean, like, before Iverson came along. But he wasn't about to like Jordan or none of them other popular ass niggas. But it, it's like, I mentioned that because Hornacek was essentially the spot up shooter on that team. I think he used to do something with his jaw, like clicking or some shit like that. But fuck, Duncan popping threes? Yeah, but Hornacek was like the spot up shooter on the squad. And uh, I can't remember everything else about this squad, but I do remember they had like, I can't even remember if when they went to the finals they had Oster Tag. But I know they had like Oster Tag, but he wasn't even a fucking factor, man. Um, um, yeah, yeah, Hornacek had game, bro. Hornacek had game. There's, there was, there, in the, by, by 95, 96, I'm, in our generation, there was only like two, three white boys that niggas even knew about. One of them was Jeff Hornacek. The other one was Mark Price. The only player we ever knew that played for the Cavaliers was Mark Price. I couldn't tell you a single other player that ever played for the Cleveland Cavaliers prior to LeBron James draft besides Mark Price. Period. The worst part is, if you ran off 50 names and 20 of them was former Cavaliers, I probably know 20, 20 out of 20. I don't know if they was a Cavalier, though. Niggas never cared about the Cavaliers. That was like the worst. You know how niggas look at the Browns? That is literally the same way niggas looked at the Cavaliers the whole time. But uh, but when I say that about the Jazz, man, the Jazz had a solid squad, but Stockton and Malone and Hornacek was the three that I could always remember off top. And they couldn't get they couldn't get out the out the um they couldn't beat the the, the Bulls even the um the Super Sign. These was like good squads, man. This isn't like um like when the Lakers played the Nets in the finals. It's like clear that the Nets, like how Nacho said, yeah, we already won the championship. Shit. We can't beat these Olympic teams. It's clear the Nets wasn't about to be able to fuck with the Lakers or the Spurs. There was like, th the league was totally different. Back back when Jordan was playing, Jordan had competition. He was just better than all the niggas. I mean, he willed his team to beat all these other niggas. It wasn't that these niggas sucked. Now, admittedly, when the Lakers played the, the Nets in the finals, the Nets kind of sucked. <laughs> They ain't have nothing for Shaq. Nothing. They ain't have nothing for Kobe. I ain't gonna stop. Nets ain't have nothing for Kobe neither. Hey, what up, Bree? Bree, there's your Bree team. It look like you're going to the finals, Bree.
Looked like going to the finals, Bray. I was hoping for the Timberwolves to take on the Bulls. Coco Queen finals. So that's my early prediction for next season. The Timberwolves and the Bulls, the Coco Queen finals. But Bree, how the hell have you been? I got some dro. I'm going to stay hydrated. I mean, I got some water. Yep. I'm going to stay hydrated. Yep, that's what I meant. Got that water, water. I ain't going to start. This 21 literally, ain't it? That's literally 21 right there, ain't it? Bree team doing Bree things, a.k.a. winning. You ain't never lie, girl. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great, Bree. I'm glad you asked. Hope you're doing well as well. Yeah, man, but uh, Herman Sick is a real person. Have you heard of Herman Sick is a real person? Wait, of course he's a real person. What you mean? Hornacek used to ring bells, my nigga. I'm not kidding. Like, he used to ring bells. Yep. Hornacek used to ring bells, bruh. But it's all in how these niggas play, man. Game recognized game, bruh. You know what time it is. You know exactly what time it is, man. Game recognized game, bruh. Off top, man, like, cause I couldn't tell you, like, I remember when Steve Kerr played for the Bulls. I couldn't tell you a single fucking thing Steve Kerr did, but hit a spot up shot every now and then. If you ask me, is Steve Kerr better than Hornacek? Nope. Nope. Cause on their team that they was on, when you look at the depth chart, Steve Kerr is like the ninth option. Hornacek was the third option every night. Every night, bruh. Personalized to you. YouTube Music Premium. Start a one month free trial. I'm staying really hydrated. Also, clean, rearrange my room. Also, happy second day of spring. Happy second day of spring. I cleaned out my yard and got in two extra hours at the JOB. A two and a half in. Me and my nephews cleaned out the yard. And the funny part is, we went out there to shoot hoops. And within 10 minutes, we was cleaning the yard. We got that whole shit done. Let them use the leaf blower and everything. They was having a ball. Lou should have never brought this track out. But by the same token, Lou should have never challenged Goonie to a versus battle. Yeah, man, but it was, a, it was a couple of good teams. Wait, the Goonie versus battle? Yeah, Luke challenged Goonie to a versus battle. Now, obviously, I said no. I, I already said no to this. I'm not even sure if this even made it to you. God forbid it makes it to Goonie. We ain't trying to hear 77 Goonie diss tracks. Back to back to back. You know, Goonie volatile. He might think Luke trying to steal his Kumba. Didn't you... Didn't you challenge you, buddy, Mr. No Shots? Wait, what? <laughs> what? Oh, oh, what? <laughs> Bree, you got me fucked up. Bree, say, say that again and say it slower. At least they didn't potentially try to kill you. Yeah, they did. Hold on, hold on, Bree. Well, my nephew was like, don't go inside, Uncle. I'm like, wow. He's like, someone might try to kill me. I'm like, what? I'm like, what? Who the hell gonna kill you? <laughs> niggas just, just going through backyards, killing niggas. Hey, let me knock on some wood. 
they might mistake us for some Asians or some Muslims or some Mexicans This series getting real chippy, Bree. Y'all just pulled off what? Three straight? <coughs> yeah, because y'all was down 2 1, if I remember right. I think y'all just pulled off three in a row. Y'all was down 1 and 2 and pulled off three in a row. I'm pretty sure that's how this worked. A hell of a series you played. Bri, you want to see the last eight minutes of this win? Hey, Bri, might as well catch that shit. You can clearly see y'all not about to lose this game. All right? You're here right now. Your team is about to win this uh, conference finals. Advance to the finals. The KBA finals. Only one of two teams. All right? Only four teams have ever been in a, in a KBA finals. Only four teams. The Wizards. The Mavericks. The Nugs and the winner of this game here. Damn. All right, now hopefully Clay Tom Thompson isn't gonna go fucking nuts. You're going down, Bree. When you do, you're gonna wish Michael Westerbrook was out there. I was watching my nieces and nephew earlier. Their friends came over, so we went to the backyard to play. You did that shit right, Bree. But Bree, what do you mean? Didn't you challenge you, buddy, Mr. No Shots? Oh, oh, oh. Are you talking about the one-on-one -on -one game we did on stream? Because I didn't challenge him. He challenged me. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. After the first shot, I didn't even want to play no more. I didn't even want to play to start. After the first shot, I definitely wasn't playing no more. But I, I recognize I needed to get some exercise in. I needed to test out some moves. So that's what I did. I used my time wisely. After the first shot, the score didn't matter to me no more. I was literally, I walked on the court. I looked for the shot that I wanted I got the shot that I wanted And I nailed that shit And I put the most beautiful shake I might have ever done in my career Alright On the first play of the game Now Would you See now Now I'm out here playing for PNR Pride and respect Alright Pride and respect Alright That ain't got nothing to do with wins and losses I already told y'all The most epic game I ever played God damn it was supposed to go to 21 that shit ended up with a score of like 53 to 51 or some shit like that I swear to god that shit just kept going up I promise you we was probably in the 60s we ain't good over the 60s it was the most vicious two on two basketball game ever that shit took like three hours it was daytime when we started it was well into the night when we was done it was at least nine o'clock I swear to god this game took three hours we started at like six by the time we was done it was dark they were telling us to come in the house. They were turning lights on for us and shit. We didn't even want the lights. But when you got a hoop in the backyard, it's a little bit different. So there was a random, randomly a knife on the ground, and one of the kids picked it up, and I took it. Then my nephew ran inside, grabbed the knife, ran back outside, and proceeded to run after the other kids. I'm trying to catch him. Then I do, and he throws the knife in the air, and it landed on the ground. Did it land, like, in the ground? Like, whoop. I whooped him, took the knife, and he got a very long time out. <laughs> Nah, man, my nephew was not wowing that much, man. They was trying to, but they be, they, they, you know, I'm gonna be honest, man. They, they take it easy on me because they like me. I ain't gonna lie about it. That's what it is. That's what's really happening. They take it easy on me because they like me. So they try their best to listen. They try their best. Those are my guys, though, man. Those are my guys, man.
<laughs> they like their Mr. Uncle. Yeah, he don't call me that no more neither. <laughs> he called me all types of shit. He turned around one day when we was doing about a few weeks ago when we was having a lot of beef with this situation. He turned around one day. He's like, "What's going on, Uncle Chick?" I'm like, "What? I'm like, what the hell is that?" He's like, "That's your new name, Uncle Chick." I'm like, "All right." <laughs> I'm like, "How did we come up with this?" In one stream, and your friend was just shooting, or well, not making any of them. Yep, yep. You wanna know what was funny? Um, as soon as, as soon as the, the the youngest one, as soon as he got here, he was like knocking on the door, right? He's knocking on the door. He opened up the door and looked at me. He was like, "All right, Uncle Ryan, <laughs> are you playing TTA?" I'm like, "What?" He was like, "You've been playing TTA." <laughs> I'm like, "What?" He was like, "You've been playing TTA again, haven't you?" <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, uh, uh, go down. I mean, get downstairs. <laughs> go downstairs. Oh, man. Yep. Yep, man. All right, but let me chill out, man. Let me chill out. Some say this is my greatest challenge ever, but I've seen centuries of this. Yeah, I do want to rock this right here. Turn today's dreams into <laughs> I thought that photo. <laughs> yeah, see, see, I think I was playing one time and I let him play a little bit when he came in here and I told him the game wasn't for kids, so he knows that. <laughs> That's why he was making sure to ask me that. <laughs> it's just the fact that he remembers that that bugs me out. <laughs> so he remembers that that bugs me out. Big block. Didn't pay much dividends. Just finally put his foot on the line. Bring you up 24 points with two and a half minutes left. I need to say that basketball stream. I guess I'll get all that done tomorrow. Switch up. They just substituted these niggas out. This is the first minutes them boys ever even got. Did they just put the starters back in? It's still 25. I made a comment on a TikTok video and it got 10,000 likes. Nice. I didn't even know you could like comments. I didn't even know you could comment on TikTok. No, I'm bugging. Yeah, obviously, I don't I don't know what peyote is. <laughs> I didn't know this was a game. I didn't know until the other day when y'all were saying you could do it on GTA that this was this thing in GTA. Tight though. Peyote is drugs? Yeah, yeah, are these GTA drugs? They brought it back on GTA for Goonie? Is, are, uh, whatever. No, no, break, break, break. We're, we don't work. Listen, Bree. We don't get a check from grammar check or spell check. 
What? <laughs> wait, what? Hold on. Wait, wait. What? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold the fuck on. Wait, wait. Wasn't the chicken sandwich war last year before the pandemic? Wait a minute. No, the chicken sandwich war, because I remember when we went to the jump park in November. Wait a minute. We went to the jump park in November. We was trying to get the chicken sandwich in line was mad long. So, so the sandwich war started like that summer of 2019. Fuck is Zaxby's coming through in 2021 on the 21st? <laughs> what the fuck of March? Talking about, come on, man. The sandwich wars aren't over. Like, yes, they is, bro. The chicken sandwich wars ain't over. All right, so it's a real plant. Wait, so if you sh if you smoke this real plant of peyote, you going to start hallucinating? Does this like only grow in, in Japan or something? Why can we have no peyote in my hood? But y'all niggas are telling me y'all was turning into unicorns and shit. I didn't feel like going all the way over there to them fields y'all was talking about to find that shit. But you trying to tell me that if I go find some peyote, it's super hard to get. You do is call LSD. Oh, that's what peyote is? Well then damn, nigga, I ain't heard somebody. Oh, why do I feel like I've heard people call LSD peyote? Nah, I ain't heard that in a long ass time. Wasn't this in blow? Oh, D completely different? Okay. So this is a hallucinogenic. But it's a plant based hallucinogenic. So this ain't salvia. I bought a back massager that looks like a drill, and then it was like, if you review it, then we'll give you twenty dollars. Then they only gave me eighteen eighty two, but apparently it was twenty. But PayPal took a few. Yep. Filthy bitches are PayPal. I'm talking about him wanting hallucinations. And GGs, Clay Thompson, Jimmy Butler, looking like they're trying to make out. Yeah, I ain't gonna stop, man. If I want hallucinations, I'm fucking with Salvia. Feet. Well, they took a few, too. Oh, yeah, Salvia legal, too. You can go to Venice and get some. I don't think it's legal out here. I remember when that shit was hitting on YouTube and shit. I was going to Bike Week telling niggas about that shit. Niggas was like, what? What is that? What kind of weed is that? <laughs> I showed that shit to a bunch of Rastas and and, uh, and and bikers and pot smokers. And niggas was like, what kind of weed is that? <laughs> I'm like, it's not weed. Yeah, I and congratulations, Bree. And the Bree team, the Trail Breezes. What is, what is, what is Portland? Rip City? Or Lob City? Lob City was the Clippers. Oh, damn, they got Duncan holding up, too. Damn, Lodge went all off to the side. He did most of the work, and he all off to the side. Damn, Tim Duncan disappeared. He, did Tim Duncan just drop, drop the Western Conference Championship? He looking at it on the floor right now. Ooh, and the players is pointing at Tim Duncan. You see number 35 point at him. He like, I ain't Clarkson. Timmy dropped it. Number 22 point at him. That's the busher. All right? All right, and even that guy right there, who we number we can't see, is pointing to the cameraman because the cameraman is pointing on the ground at the Western Conference Championship that Tim Duncan looks down upon. Timmy is coming for the Kobe. And why wouldn't he? Yep. Exclusive after the game interview, Tim Duncan, how do you feel about your the game you just won and your chances in the finals? Great. Tim Duncan, what kind of effort did you put out there for this game? They clinched the win three back to back. Great effort. Tim Duncan, how do you think your teammates played throughout the series as compared to your opponents? I think they played great. Tim Duncan, 
What about your opponents? They've come out here and trashed you all in the media, all right, saying that they were going to spread the coronavirus and block everything you guys got. I think you play great. Well, Tim Duncan, how do you feel about the Nugs and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Wilt the Stilt Chamberlain? I think they're great. All right, well, Tim Duncan, is there anything you don't think is great? I think they're great. Thank you, Timmy. No, you guys could be great anywhere in the world. But Tim Duncan just threw the Western Conference Championship on the floor. And he said, Will the Still, Kareem, the Dream, uh, Akeem, uh, Kareem Abdul Jabbar, Jabbar Abdul Jabbar, Jabbar Jabbar, we coming for you, NBA players. Peace.